Okay, so the, I got asked a question, what is the difference between belief and perspective? Well, a belief is a, is a thought that's held in mind or a belief system that's held in mind. Like, for example, um, I'm an old man. That, that, that's a belief or a belief system. So when I hold a belief, it becomes an aspect of my separate self, my identity. So um, also, it, it also becomes a prism by which I um, perceive the world or see the world. I see it through my belief systems. Now, um, so a belief is a thought held in the, in the mind of the ego. And uh, it does color what is seen because the all ego beliefs filter and create a sort of um, a warp of um, seeing uh, seeing the world through a level of consciousness. If you've got too many belief systems, you may see the world through fear, the filters of fear and fear-based thoughts or, or shame or um, from love or unconditional love or joy. So it just depends how much uh, beliefs you've got stuck in. The more beliefs you've got, the more you feel negative because they cut you off from the infinite light that is always present, but the beliefs, you know, create a filter or a cloud in front of the the illuminating ever-present light that's always here. So more belief systems usually means you go down in level of consciousness and you have more, more filters, you know, um, seeing good and bad, this and that, duality, me and you, all of that kind of stuff goes on, and which creates more of a feeling of separation. And a, and, a, and, a, and a perception of um, of uh, things. So perspective is different. Perspective is um, how you see the world. And I would say that perspective is also related to how much, related to, but is, is different to how much beliefs you hold in mind. So if you have no beliefs um, in mind, then you're, you're, you, you have a perspective of infinite, of the infinite, you know, of the absolute, of the truth of oneness and beyond oneness to the infinite light. So you're seeing see, uh, what is seen, the perspective of absolute truth. Now you have relative perspectives based on the number of belief systems and how strongly identified the ego is. And these will give you a different perspective. So you might have the perspective at an advanced level of consciousness of unconditional love. If you've got more beliefs and more st stuff in your ego, uh, you may have the perspective of acceptance. If you've got tons of stuff, repressed feelings and thoughts and beliefs in the ego, then your perspective might be to see a world full of fear and danger or addiction, you know, like I, I'm in lack, I need all these things to feel better. So, you know, that's, um, so that would be the difference, you know. So you, you I want to have a, I want to be able to have a perspective from a more elevated level of consciousness because I'll see things through compassion, forgiveness, through love, or even through um, even through the fields of of oneness beyond all separation dualities and polarities, so um, and then there's the absolute perspective, which we'd say is the absolute truth beyond limitation, separations, beliefs, and ego, and the and the filters that the ego creates that gives the different perspectives of the different levels of consciousness. Uh, which is dependent on the level of um, belief systems held in mind and repressed feelings. So that that's the 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 difference. Uh, you know, a belief is really a strong uh, thought or belief system held in mind.